is a truism that uh, countries of the world develop when their industries flourish as a result of increasing patronage, especially local patronage of goods and services. The idea behind, or the principle behind organizing this patronized made in Nigeria product arising from the fact that a lot of our markets, a lot of our industrial and manufacturing capacities have been grossly underutilized owing to our inability to maximally use uh, uh, what we need to produce what we want, to consume locally what we want and what we need, and then at the same time export to neighboring countries. The desire, you know, to go into this uh, paint manufacturing is born out of, you know, that I want to be independent and to employ, to be an employer of labor in Nigeria. So I made every effort to research and develop the paint production in a way that I am good to meet the international standard. So that if this is done, I will be able to take the youths out of the, out of the streets. I shall begin to draw now. People pass, they share and they like them. They, they buy, now they eat that money, they feed my children. So we are into rabbitry, and these are things that every household can actually grow. We're into rabbitry, we do um, snails, we do mushrooms, we do bees, we do sheep and goat and pigs. And then, most importantly, we do vegetables, herbs, and spices, and fruits. So you can see in the farm here, we believe in the concept of the environment and man living in harmony. Instead of growing royal palms, we grow coconuts. Instead of growing masquerade trees, we grow avocados. We grow palms. And we also grow plants that repel mosquitoes and snakes and insects. So we are using nature to modify our environment to make it healthier for us. We make shoes, baseball shoes, we make shoes for both male and female, all kinds of shoes, from casual to corporate, boots. We even have customers all over the world, like we have customers in UK, United States, Europe. Currently, we are getting into summer. We make casual footwear we send across to them. When it's winter also, we make like boots and the rest of them and we send across to them. I do recycling. This is tire furniture. This is waste product that has already been thrown away outside. So we pick them to create employment, to make Nigeria what we have become, that be made in Niger. So this is the only thing that we use our hands to do. In the year 2015, the federal government of Nigeria banned the importation of frozen chicken. And this led to scarcity because farmers don't have this machine to, to process frozen chicken. I aim to turn this challenge into opportunity. I am actually offering a solution to that regard by building a machine that will be able to defeather four beds in 20 seconds. And um, in one hour, you're getting 450 beds ready. In IFA, they are helping me to improve my product design by creating an enabling environment for me to work on. The campaign actually um, targets groups and individuals. So we are always thinking about who are we going to address next. Now, all target audiences are involved. They include stakeholders, um, interactive platforms that we use for our partners, relevant ministries, departments, and agencies of government, professional bodies, and students. Other groups that we engage in using this same platform of the interactive fora are society, civil society organizations, um, persons with disabilities, and community-based organizations. 
And this particular platform feature paper presentations, discussions, interactions to further emphasize the role of these target groups in promoting Made in Nigeria. The National Orientation Agency has been in the forefront of the campaign sensitization and the advocacy towards creating the necessary awareness for Nigerians to patronize Made in Nigeria goods and services. And uh, we have recorded quite a number of successes in the area of uh, production of local fabrics, in the area of uh, manufacturing some of our uh, daily uh, culinary requirements, uh, in the area of uh, footwear. In fact, we are making incremental progress uh, as a result of this sensitization and the awareness creation towards patronizing made in Nigeria goods and services. I would say it has been quite um, rewarding, amazing, impactful, uh, because as we engage with groups and citizens across the country, we have uh, documented feedback to show that Nigerians, the attitude of Nigerians are changing. Um, especially that they are getting to understand that patronizing made in Nigeria will help build our economy. So we are living by example in the National Orientation Agency. We use locally made furniture. Our official vehicles are made in Nigeria and then our, our staff are made to um, wear or put on locally produced attires when they are at work. And this is what we say and our charge to Nigerians that change begins with me. So if you patronize made in Nigeria, I patronize made in Nigeria, gradually our industries will grow, get fatter, economy will grow, there will be um, employment. So power is a major, major challenge. Because some people now, they compromise the quality of their products, trying to manage the raw materials. But if some of those things are done in abundance, are there in abundance, like say, the government, they build factories that produce something like the thickening agents, like the binding agents, like coalition agents, and so many other things, like the pigments that go into paint production, and etc., etc., the cost of production will be very low. And this will encourage our, our local consumers to patronize us. However, sometimes we have a lot of challenges. And the key one that is actually seriously pressing on us is exports. For instance, sometime last two years, I had two persons call me from Kigali, Rwanda, and uh, Senegal. They want to buy and resell, right? So after taking the number of pairs they want us to make for a start, then I had to go check shipping companies for the export. He realized that the cost of shipping is more than the overall cost product. It's equally attitudinal. Attitudinal in the sense that there is this mentality, uh, especially among the Nigerian middle and the higher classes. Between the uh, among Nigerian middle and the higher classes, they feel patronizing goods and the services that come offshore like um, an indication, uh, you know, of, uh, of, of affluence, an indication of affluence. Take a look at it, for example. Nigeria's furniture industry can compete favorably with any kind of, of any uh, furniture industry in this world. More so, we have the finest, the finest woods that you can use for uh, any kind of furniture in this country. Yet, many of our middle and the higher class people would rather go to Turkey, would rather go to China, would rather go to other countries to import uh, furniture that cannot, uh, in terms of quality and in terms of strength and in terms of, uh, of uh, durability, uh, uh, cannot stand in the face of our Nigerian variant. We need some technical support, people that can support us in ensuring that we understand the processes, even the way the, the government policies dealing with NABDAC, dealing with SAM, dealing with all these regulatory agencies, 
Where do you get your product tested? What do you need to test? What are the hazard points? So there is a whole lot. There is almost like a, a whole lot of entrepreneurship skill or even productivity skill. Those are the kinds of workshops the government can be running and providing a technical hub for people like us that have some short, we might be rich in ideas, but ensuring that you move from idea to market requires a lot of handholding. And oftentimes, there's no one to give you that handholding. If you find one, you have to pay through your nose. This is a clarion call for Nigerians to develop the necessary patriotic zeal, the necessary patriotic principle, the necessary patriotism to patronize what uh, we produce locally because uh, from what we have seen over the years, there is a lot uh, of high quality products being uh, manufactured in our country that can compete favorably, favorably with other parts of the world. I encourage Nigerians to use made in Nigeria goods and services. If they do that, it is going to help us to build an, our economy. It is going to help us to create employment opportunities for everybody and it will make criminality to go down to the lowest ebb. I like make my work with the growth for us. You know, see anything where they do, where they move. Uh -huh. Your body goes sweet thing from inside. Now I can't market it. Go, I can't only go market it. People will buy. Think your body go, go they happy. Please, as soon as you're done seeing my message, get up, go to the market, patronize made in Nigerian products. Because when you do so, you are encouraging those of us who are in the business of making products in Nigeria. You are strengthening the economy. If you are not buying made in Nigerian products, stop complaining about the economy. If you are not buying made in Nigeria products, do not complain about the economy. My call to all Nigerians is that our attitude should change. Behavior that seems to prefer foreign things to our local products is doing us more harm than good. I want to call on us to develop this nation with the government and with individuals that are putting in their effort to produce what we can consume, what we can use. So why not just join hands with the producers, manufacturers, the SMEs, to ensure that life becomes better for all of us. Please, let us patronize Nigeria's locally made goods and services. It's our path to economic growth and development. It's our path to poverty reduction and wealth creation.